Hello stampers. Welcome to Linda's Stamping Escape. Hello, how are you? Hope everybody is doing well tonight. I want to quickly send out prayers to my family and those affected by the fires out in California and around the U.S. and Canada. We love you and we're thinking about you guys and sending prayers. Hope everybody else is doing well. It is Tuesday, our Technique Tuesday, July 27th, 2021. And today we will be doing the Starburst Technique. I am excited and wow, we got lots of people on here already. Ooh, somebody else wants to see this. Awesome. Just going to click over here so I can see my comments. Hello, Kathy and Beth and Barb. Welcome, everybody. If you are joining me live, make sure you say hello. Feel free to put your comments in the comment section while you're watching. Um, or if you have questions, I do go back and read all of the comments. So yeah, if you have a question or something and I miss it, I always go back to look. So yes, you want to make sure that you say hello so your name gets in the drawing. Tonight we'll be drawing for the 2020-2022, wow, that's a mouthful, the In Color Square Gems. So we got a sampling of those for you. So that will be our lucky winner for tonight. Hello, Rita. So my sister has joined us. Welcome. Oh, this is so cool. I love this technique. I've been wanting to do it for a long time. So we're going to do that tonight. And I'm going to introduce you to the After the Storm stamp set. I don't know what it is about this one, but it's one of those that, you know, I just had to have. So maybe it was just that one word sunshine. So when my little Shayla was born, I used to always call her my, she was my sunshine. So, and of course you can see we're working in sunshine colors. So I have Mango Melody here and Daffodil Delight. And I am using the, um, don't let me forget, <laughs> the Brights collection of the dips, but the pastels, the neutrals, and, oh, goodness, oh, ladies, you know. So, I am sorry that I am not you. You save 15% off on select designer series papers until August 2nd, but I shared my pansies with you. Well, hello, Judy, and hello, Carol. Ooh, we got some new people. Hello, Beth. So, um, I seem to be a little blurry, but on my phone it looks okay. I am don't know why that does that. Um... So, yes, that was on my blog. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to run upstairs and I'm going to open that door. I closed it because um, I forgot to turn the TV down upstairs. But I think it might be interfering with the um, connection. So, let me run up and I'm fast. Okay, I am sorry about that delay. There we go. Look at, cleared it right up. Oh my gosh, that's just crazy. Okay, note to self, never close the door into the craft room because it cuts off your internet service. So, 
this is what I put on my blog today. And we're going to actually start with a layout very similar to this. Whew, and I'm out of breath now. There are so many variations of this technique. So we're going to start out kind of simple. If you go on Pinterest, you'll see many different ways that you can cut your paper. But I didn't want to get real technical, especially for those who are new to stamping and they want to do fun stuff too. So we are going to start here with our, you need four pieces and they are one and a half by six inches. This technique you could probably get away because I'm working short. I'm working this way and I'm going to have a one inch greeting down here. So um, you could probably get away with going to four inches. And you know what? I'm just not sure about that. But I am going to take a little pencil here and I'm going to leave little tick marks so I know where my greeting's going to be going. So I know that I need to cover down to at least where my little tick marks are there. So and then here's the center of your card so you want to work there. You could easily put a score line here too. You could do that if you prefer. So. Okay, we need to cut. So I wanted to show you how to cut these. Let me get my cutter out. So I know you know how to cut from that, you know, one and a half inches to the six inches. And these actually come six by six, so it's really nice. So you get quite a few of these. And let me flip this way. Bring my cutter towards me. Everybody does this a little different, don't they? <laughs> okay. Um, I am not going to cut off that. Yes, I am. <laughs> Girls, you got to help me make up my mind here. I don't know. I'm a little worried about this. Because I never did it this way before. So, I'm just going the safe way. All right, let's get these. And I'm cutting two at a time. So I'm trying to make sure that I have them both lined up well. All right, there we go. And you want to be in the line of the cutter. So you have to put that corner point right in that line. So that's how you're going to line this up. We're going to drop that. And I'm going to put my finger right there to hold it. I like to start in the center. That way I don't catch my edges and I don't bend them. So now you got some very nice points there. We're going to do the same with this one. Make sure they're lined up there. If you're worried about getting them lined up, you can easily cut them separately. Okay. The corner in there right into the cutting line. And same with that one. I always double check to make sure I haven't moved it because I usually do. All right, back again. Hold that. Bring my paper cutter up and do it that way. Yeah, sometimes it catches and it will bend your little tiny corners there. So, all right, I'm going to use this to pick these up. There we go. I actually have two cards that I'm going to show you tonight, but I wanted to um, make sure you saw how this is cut. So now I also see we got some really cool patterns here and I like to swap them out and I like to test my designs and how my stuff is all going to look on there. All right, we already have that one, so ooh, we don't want those two together. 
So see how I kind of do that? Kind of play around with them. Now we got to make sure that we're going to cover these two edges. So we're going to bring that one down there. That will cover. And then we're going to bring this over here and that will cover. Nice. Okay. So just going to slide this out from underneath. I'm going to move these up a little bit. Now, if you have the, um, you can use your glue sticks or your glue pen or however you want to attach this. I, on the other hand, am just going to use my adhesive. I'm going just the hair right down to my line. I'm going to go all the way out here. If you have the adhesive sheets at home, they work fabulous. But if you don't, I just wanted to show you how you can get a nice hold onto your little um, pieces here without breaking the bank. So I wanna start with a nice center one and I'm going with the Mango Melody. So we're just gonna kinda of set her right here. And you will be able to trim that off if you want or you can just trim it down here. All right, next up. Once you get these set where you want them to go, it goes nice and fast. Make sure you are always covering all of your cardstock here. And then I'll show you what the back looks like. I think I got sticky glue on there from last week already. So we were using the all right, and now it has to go past here. So wherever you want to put that, if you want to make it, you know, a little wider or whatever, as long as it covers that little piece. All right, where is that one? I want to make that kind of skinny. There we go. Now we're going to flip it over. And I'm just going to use my block here to push down my adhesive into my cardstock. And then you are just going to take your uh, scissors. I forgot to tell you, this piece is slightly shy of four by five and a quarter. So it's probably four and an eighth by. Hmm. I'll get there for you. <laughs> Math is not working in my head real good. But I know a lot of people tell you you can just use scrap paper. Hi, Nicole. But um, I want to let you know the reason I use cardstock is because it gives me a nice firm edge to cut against. So see how easy it was for me to cut? If that was paper, trust me, I'd be hacking into it. So we want to make this as simple as possible, right? And make it look as neat as possible. And how neat does that look? Okay, now you can cut these off. Now the ends here aren't glued down. If you want to, you can go back and um, put some adhesive under there to set those. But once you put the adhesive here, it should work. But if, if it bothers you, I would just tuck a little, just flick that under there. And that way you don't have to worry about that center coming up. Because remember, we're going to be putting a greeting over here. Oops, now I curled him, so I'm going to have to tuck him under there. There we go. So, 
All right, scraps out of here. You can see our beautiful little, and we got an extra piece, and don't worry because I always end up with extra pieces and I store them all together and then I can create another card later. So we are all set with that. And now after the storm is going to come into play here because we are going to bring in our piece. And again, the mango melody. A little bit dark on that. Hi, Sherry. Oh my gosh. Happy belated birthday, Sherry. I love this. Some of my... Um, Kathy is in my downline, and some of her team is here, or stampers are here watching. That is amazing. Nice to not quite see you, but nice to have you with me again, ladies. So this says, a little sunshine for your day. And who doesn't need that once in a while, right? Okay, and I had a little scrap piece of paper here. So let's see, yep, that one goes all the way across. So I'm going to add a little adhesive and I'm gonna stay away from my edge there. Here we go, sticky fingers. I'm gonna go right in the middle. I just want a hair of that to show. There we go. And as you can see this is a scrap piece of paper because it's actually longer than what I have here. So, my adhesive here and here. I'm going to center the mango melody. There we go. Again, a little push down there, make sure I'm getting my adhesives all in there. Very nice. Trim off our extra. So now I got the cardstock fighting the cardstock. All right. Now this is going to get mounted on here. I did not want a lot of this to show. It's just a little peak of color. So I am using the Stamp and Seal Plus. So I do not need a lot of it. And I like it because it's like perforated <laughs> so it it actually comes off the little wheel pretty easy there all right I think somebody cut a little crooked so I'm gonna woo, just trim this off a hair Ooh. That makes me nervous. There we go. And now our white base. And Vicki joined us. Hello, Vicki. Yes, Kathy, I agree with you. Beautiful bright colors. The Ma Mango Melody and the Daffodil Delight. And with the A Little Sunshine for Your Day, I think it fits perfectly. Nice sunlit colors. This on our card base, the white just makes everything pop a little better. And then we need some um, embellishments. So I have to grab my take your pick tool, which was behind me. And we'll just pick those up here. And add a few of these. You know, I watch some people use this end for that. That's kind of cool, too, because look at it just sticks right on there. And we'll grab a little one from up here. And stick that right there. 
quick and easy. And I'm going to have to pull this off because I am crooked. Goodness gracious. Must be my eyes today. All right. Oh, and Judy, hello. Oh, look at the hearts. I love you guys. <laughs> okay. Simple card. Now I'm going to show you just a little bit different layout. Let me put my mango melody away. All right. And we are going to, not that that, if you thought that was bright, wait till you see these. Woo! <laughs> now we're working with our Melon Mambo, because I'm going to stick with the same designer series paper stack. So I'm working with the brights. So we did the Mango Melody and the Daffodil Delight. So now I'm going to be working with the Mango I'm sorry, this is Mambo, Melon Mambo. And then we have our Pacific Point, of course. And a little Granny Apple Green. Boy, she really kicks things up, doesn't she? Go Granny. All right. And then our gorgeous grape. So I have no idea what this is going to look like because I did not make this one yet. I just thought it would be fun. <laughs> and I wanted to show you a different layout. So I got my colors all here stacked up, ready to go. Um, and we're going to come out this way this time. So it's going to come out like this instead of spread out this way. So I'm going to take my pencil and I'm just going to draw a little line just so I know that I will probably go out a little further, but because I do have my piece here, but I just want to make sure that that's all covered. So same deal. Again, this one here would be great if you were using your um, full sheet of adhesive. Those adhesive sheets are really slick. So... I do not have one yet. I used mine all up for other techniques. So I am going to do this. And bring this in. And then I'm going to bring it here because I don't want my pieces to, you know, pop off. Okay. So let's have some fun here. And let's start with Granny Apple Green. And we're going to bring her in the center. And we're going to take her out over the top of this one. All right. And then let's do some pink. So a little Melon Mambo here. And I'm flipping the pattern. And I think some Pacific Point would be pretty. And you got the two different patterns, so that's fun. All right. Let's go. Nope, this way. <laughs> Usually I ask you guys, which one do you like better? That down there and then I think we're gonna go with granny granny's gonna finish that edge off and we don't know where we're gonna end up here so we are going to do let's do our melon mambo and what's cool is you can use either side and we're going back and forth with our designs I'm going to butt up these. Now, I've also seen some where they leave a space in between. And you can do that. However, then you're going to have to make sure you're gluing your individual pieces. I'm just doing it this way because it's easier. All right. We're going to go with some more gorgeous grape with this pattern here. And I could just finish it off. 
what I could end up, and I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this way up here. There we go. And I am going to finish it off with a little bit of that granny apple green. There we go. So now what we started in the middle. Oh, wow, I only got one blue one on there. Girls, you're not keeping it. You know what? I like it. I'm leaving it. Now I got all sorts of goodies here left over to play with later. Because I wasn't sure what I needed. So, And they're just, those are the two. Um, you need four, but I did more. Um, and it's one and a half inches by six inches. That is what we used. And you're putting that on a piece of four inch by five and a quarter. And I like to trim mine just a hair smaller because I like that extra little pop of color. Of course, I did my pop of color in um, granny apple green. And I'm thinking I should have did that now in the pink. And I could swap it out, but we're just going to leave it. See how much nicer that trims off when you don't, when you're not using paper? I don't know. I just think that works. And I got a little gap in here. Hopefully we'll be covering that with our greeting. So toss those away. And we're going to do this. So... My greeting here, and I got to be careful because it, your greeting has to cover that whole piece there. So in order to do that, I'm just wondering, this is actually, you have been on my mind, is from the After the Storm, but I think I'm going to steal the happy birthday from Peaceful Moments. So... Hello, Sandy. You snuck in there on me. <laughs> Welcome. Okay, we are going to go with the Melon Mambo. And now I can bring it back a little further. And we're going to stamp right about there. And you could layer this more. You could, you know, put some other colors back there. Like maybe a little bit more Pacific Point. Since we kind of shied on that guy. <laughs> All right. I am going to add some dimensionals, which are up here, hiding all my paper. And what I'm going to do with this guy is just give him a little adhesive. So I know where I want him. Right there. And then I'm going to trim that down before I add my dimensionals. A lot of trimming. But really, that's the easy part, right? All right. We have a full house tonight. I love it. Thank you, ladies. And I already know what I'm doing next week, Tuesday. We're going to be working with um, masks, the new masks out of the um, catalog, the new mini catalog, and the embossing paste. So we're going to have a little fun with that next week. Oop, loving the hearts, loving the hearts. Thank you. Yes, our designer paper sale goes through August 2nd. I'm going to back this off just a little bit because somebody here can't, cannot. Cut straight tonight. There we go. <laughs> Good. Lord in heaven, somebody help me here. All right, this should look better. Oh, 
ah, much nicer. Oh, and the colors, you know, you guys can just go crazy with this. This is, this is such a fun technique. And don't be afraid to mix your designer papers. Put, this, um, you know, flowers in here or... Um, you can take your designer paper and every other one add cardstock instead. Now, how cute would that look? Now, let's really pop this. And then if you go to my blog, Linda's Stampin' Escape tomorrow, I'll have these cards all on there along with all of the dimensions that we talked about today. And then I will also have an extra card. Oop. See what happened there. There we go. This is going to be for my granddaughter's birthday. She's going to turn 18. Help. Okay, so we got a birthday party going on here, and we have a little sunshine going on over here, both with the technique, totally different based off your layouts. So it's a lot of fun. Um, you wouldn't have to do, see these smaller pieces? We really could have cut those down to four inches, and then you could save yourself a little paper, but it's up to you. Oh, thank you, Judy. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, everybody. Um, I appreciate the wonderful comments. I love it. Um, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. As I said, I go through all my comments, and I either like them or I answer everything afterwards. And the dimensions will all be on my blog tomorrow. So... The key part, though, is right here, and those, again, are one and a half inches by six. You have to do the six on these because you want it all the way out, and then these could be one and a half by four. So, and if anybody is, and I'm speaking to the people because this will get posted on YouTube, so for those, if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel, and don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you. So, before you ladies leave for the evening, oh, and let's pop in our one here that we did yesterday. That's with our designer papers, okay? And the pansies cut out of the designer paper as well. All right, we are going to do our drawing for our, where did I put it? Oh, here it is. There we go. Our in color. So this is all the people who joined us last week and commented or shared. If you like a video, feel free to share it. So it'll be available to share soon. So, okay. Thank you, Judy. Yeah, the pansies are cute. So we are going to hop over here to our Wheel of Names. And I am so happy that you ladies all took time out to watch. I know the Olympics have started, even though the news told us everything, right? Goodness. They tell you what's going on before you even get to watch. So, again, the in-color squares, all of our commenters and watchers from last week. Let's go, ladies. Good luck, everyone. Three, two, one. Felita. Is that how you pronounce your name? I'm sorry. I would like you to comment and then message me your address. Um, everybody knows that uh, if you are in my downline, you are more than welcome to win prizes. Everybody is. So just shoot me your address. Unless you're close, then you got to come pick them up. So I appreciate everybody 
stopping to watch tonight. And I hope you stop by my blog tomorrow. Again, it is Linda's Stampin' Escape. That is my blog. And you will see these three cards and one more that highlights another one of the um, sayings in the After the Storm stamp set. So I'll be working with that more, but I thought it really went nice with this um, technique. So again, we're doing the starburst. Super simple, you guys. Try it out. And if you do, I would love if you would post it on our blog for all to see. So we should have an Olympics of stamping. <laughs> all right. You guys have a great night. Thanks again for stopping by. Good night.